morning, good afternoon, happy holidays to you. Very, it's festivus. It's very festive right now. Welcome to the No Mongo Podcast. My name is Rick Beta, and this is a show about all things skateboarding. Okay, just quick summary. I've been riding for about three decades. So yeah, riding about three decades on four wheels, and it's been a part of my life. I've seen you know the ups and downs in the skateboard industry. Things have come and gone, you know, RIP to Copers, right? It's one of the first things that comes to mind. RIP Copers. If you ever had the experience, you know. They were they were interesting, that's all I gotta say. So if you don't know what Copers are or what they were, look them up. I'm based out of San Jose, California, and I've been here pretty much my whole life, so I say the better part forty three years. Yeah. So it's great to be here. Glad you found the show. And that was just a quick little intro if you are brand spanking new to the show. So welcome to the show. But want to get started. Actually, you know what? I want to start off with a reminder. Those of you who have been listening for a while now know that I announced a very special announcement last episode. Skate Party Skateboards, we have a deck giveaway. You have, yes, and you heard that correct. So Skate Party Skateboards is the upcoming board company in Scranton, Pennsylvania, okay? And I teamed up with D for a free skate party deck. Did I mention free? Because if I haven't mentioned the word free, then I should probably mention the word free again. So thank you, D. Happy holidays, and thanks for, of course, supporting the show and offering up one of your decks. So if you guys are hearing this for the first time, it's a free deck. It was on episode 43, so feel free to you know circle back after this episode, which is going to be a quick one, and listen to all the details. But I'll give them to you right here as well. All you need to do is go to skatepartyskateboards.com. There's already a tab set up on the website. You just go there, subscribe to their newsletter, and bam, you're in the running. Okay? And the giveaway ends on 1231. So the end of the this year, 2019, it's over. Done. And it's only for individuals living in the continental U.S. So I, I do apologize for anyone living outside of the United States. And good luck. Good luck to you guys. And, and I can't wait to give a shout out to whomever wins once you score that deck. I cannot wait. Very exciting. So thanks again, D. Like I said, Skate Party Skateboards go there yesterday. It's free, guys. Very free. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like I said, I'm battling this cold. I don't know what's going on. It is the season. I'm not going to let it get to me. but Or maybe I didn't mention. I don't know. But anyways, next up, I wanted to talk a little bit about me. Okay? Actually, no, I wanted to start off by thanking you. Thank you if you just found the show or if you've been around since episode one. You know, I started way back in March. And, you know, of course, thanks for helping spread the word, telling a friend or reaching out, just sending me feedback, sending me love. You know, I appreciate it. I, I Thank you. Thank you so much. But I'll never forget the time, you know, I told my wife that I wanted to start up a skateboarding podcast. And this was way back in, oh gosh, August 2018. <clears throat> yeah, because I finally didn't launch until March 2019. So there was a lot of time. In between, I mean, part of it was just bad time of it, timing. Part of it was just me finally getting over my self-doubt. You know, I kept thinking, like, will anyone even want to listen to one podcast? I mean, to one episode and beyond. Uh, they're going to, you know, there's so many podcasts out there. Why would anyone want to listen to mine, you know? Can I even pull off a weekly show and one that's entertaining? These are questions I literally had in my head. Legit, true feelings. I even remember <laughs> my wife asking me, well, she asked me one question. And she asked, but who are you going to interview? Mm, I knew my answer right away. I I never intended on having an interview show. There are just so many of them out there as it is, and it just, it just never dawned on me. So, I mean, of course, the Nine Club was huge and still is huge. But I wanted to bring, like, something different, you know. So, basically, here we are. You know I mean? No interviews. No other hosts, just me, myself, and I. You know, I was on a, basically on a mission to my whole goal when I launched this podcast was like, can I entertain just one of you? One. I think I accomplished that. So I'm patting myself on the back, you know. 2020 is going to be great. I've got a huge foundation in place. The show is going to grow, and I got big, big plans for 2020. 2020 is clear 
Oh, that was, yeah, pun intended, I guess. Yeah, I couldn't help that. But and beyond. But I'm grateful to have you guys along for me on this ride because otherwise, why am I even doing this, right? It's good to hear the interactions, the feedback, you know, on all social media and email because otherwise I'm just talking like into a vacuum. That's not fun. <laughs> so with that, <clears throat> excuse me. Like I said, scratchy throat, stuffy head. Tis the season. But anyways, do you guys have, I'm going to put this on you now. Do you have anything you want me to discuss, you know, in the upcoming year, in the next year? How do you like the format? How about the length? Is it too short? Do you need more? You know, I like being in that sweet spot of around 20 minutes. You know, that's kind of an average commute. I think for most people, it's 30 minutes. Most people work out for about 30 minutes. You know, and and I know me personally, I have trouble or it's a hard, it's really hard for me to, you know, if I always bring up, you know, all the nine club four or five hour episodes, I can't keep up with those. You know, I follow a select few shows and, you know, an hour, two hours is pushing it, right? So that's why I keep it short too. So feedback, let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback and I'll definitely, you know, take it into consideration on, you know, as we move towards Closer to episodes 100 and beyond. Isn't that crazy to think? I never even thought. I mean, I started off, what, three episodes to launch. Well, I might even be able to pull this off. And here we are. This is episode 44. So, so anyways. But I wanted to, to um, I wanted to keep this episode very, it's not, I'm not going to talk anything pretty much about skateboard. I want to keep it straight to the point. So, yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. And I even want to change the podcast game a bit up. I want to change it up a bit, too. Yeah. I mean, mostly skateboarding did a great job on their predictions for skateboarding for the next decade. That's a great episode. Go listen to it if you guys haven't. It's their latest one. But I'm going to take a spin on that and predict how the podcast world is going to be in, like, the next decade. I mean, there will be there continue to be more and more skateboarding podcasts. It's just it's going to happen, right? However, some are going to stick. Others might not make it, you know, or they'll give up or whatever. For whatever reasons, they, they'll they move on. But, you know, I want to change it up and have other podcast hosts on my show. And this is something I've been thinking about for a while. And I'm like, there are so many of us out there. Why don't we pop onto each other's shows? Why isn't this happening? You know, for example, I could hop on to Skatosis, you know, talk to the crew over there. Um, they could come on to my show. And vice versa. And it wouldn't be like an, a weekly thing. It could be like a one episode, one and done, or every every month. Or, you know, it all depends. It depends on, you know, what you guys are thinking, too. Like a special, you know, one-off episode. How would you guys like that? Is it crazy? Is it crazy to say that? I don't know. I don't think so. So, basically, to any podcasters that are tuning into this show right now, and you're hearing the words that I'm speaking to right now, Just know the offer's out there. Let's collaborate more. Let's do this. You know, cue up that Bob Marley song, One Love. Let's get together and be all right. But just know if if I don't hear from you, I will definitely be reaching out to you in the near future as well. Like I said, this is my prediction for the next decade of podcasting. I think we should be on each other's shows more. Well, actually, no, period. I don't think it's happening. If it's happening, it's not with any of the shows that I'm listening. I think it'd be very cool. I think it'd be fun. And it'd be, you know, awesome to be on an episode of the Nine Club Experience or the Bunt. Yeah. Is it a long shot for me to say that? For me to be on those shows? No. Is it crazy? I don't think so. So that's what I see for the future of skateboarding podcasts. As a listener, you're going to continue to have many different options and flavors. But you're going to be able to hear more opinions and takes from other shows that you might not listen to. Or maybe you discover are going to take some interest in. So it's going to... Spread the net wide, spread the love for all. We will see. But it's my duty to just throw it out to the universe and be patient, you know, knowing it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. So that's all I've got, you guys. That's all I got for this episode. That's all I've got <clears throat> maybe for this year. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. I know the holidays are all about, you know, family and having fun, but for some, it can be very stressful, depressing, you know. Dark times for others. So I got to say, and I've said this before, don't hesitate to reach out. If you're feeling down, anything, reach out. And I do mean that. And I hope you you guys do have a very happy holidays. 
like I mentioned, <clears throat> this might be the last one for the the year. Yeah, I'm battling a little cold or whatever's going on. But I have something planned, but I, I don't want to fully commit to it because I don't know if the time will work out. You know, my kids are off for two weeks. My wife's taking time off as well. So it's going to be a little crazy in the in the beta household. So I will for sure say this. The show will be back on January 7th. That is for sure. I've got you guys' back. But if there's a little episode in between, and if I can pull off what I want to do, then, yeah, just make sure you're subscribed. You'll get the feed. You'll to update your feed. Bam, it'll pop up. So be sure to head on over to skatepartyskateboards.com. Get that. I can't wait to announce that winner as well. I am looking for a fantastic 2020, and I wish only the best to you and yours. Take care of each other, you know, and be sure to push wisely. I'll see you guys. Thank you.